Hello programmers, uh, this is Cyrus Nyakama uh, Mantle and uh, this guy is going to teach you how to write a code that has less errors uh, and also how to write code fast. Alright, so uh, what, what are we going to write? So, okay, I'm going uh, I'm gonna use the IDE which is dev C++ and um, I will use C++ as a programming language. But it doesn't matter what I, I will be writing here. You can apply it on Java and C Sharp and C on Python in any other programming language. This is just how to write a program that has less errors and also how to write your program faster. So, Uncle Bob, uh, 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 the other day I was watching a video of Uncle Bob. I should uh, search him house. I should search a, so search that guy out on YouTube. Let me just go here and see if you can see him. Uh, the Uncle Bob says, uh, the only way to go faster is to go right. And I uh, was reading this uh, article or quote from other engineer or software engineer or developer but he was like oh i agree in some way i was like okay let me go for a ride with me uh this is uncle bob but just so sure i hope it's okay it's very fun and let it go with this and you can watch uh his article i advise you to watch him okay, so what i am going to write let's just write down the problem first Let's just write down the problem first. So, what is my problem? So, create a program, a program that will ask the user to enter a year. The year of birth, the year of birth, the year of birth, and current year. But uh, we want also to, we want us to ask the user to also enter the name, the name, the name. So uh, the program uh, will ask the user to enter the name, the alphabet, and the current year. So, okay, what else can we write to make it more spicy? To make it more spicy, mm. uh, the age, okay, if the age. If the age is greater than greater than greater than uh, let's just say twenty in the program the program will Prompt the user to enter inside. Else, else, you don't meet the minimum re 
requirement a requirement a requirement to enter inside the club so um this is more a program of a club a club so this is a program of a club and then you are at the entrance and then there's this screen that will just pop up and say enter your name and then enter the name and the year of birth the current year and then uh and then the program will calculate program will compute the age based on given data uh, in our case the given data is bad uh, and current year so uh, let's say a club owner asks you to write a program that looks like this, and then you uh, and then you go to so like, okay, uh, and then it gives you uh, uh, a period of time and say no, I want this uh to be done in three days, and then the the club owner expected you to be finished in time. So, how can you write this code uh, faster? And this code, uh, uh, and write this code uh, with less errors. Yeah. So, let's start our program. Create a program that you ask the user to enter name, year of birth, current year. So, what you need to do in order for you to write a clean code uh, or a program that has less errors uh, or to, to write a program faster, uh, the, uh, the easiest way is to, is to write, a, a, is to divide your code is to write uh is to add a, is, to, is to write the feature and then compile so that you can see that uh the feature works if the feature doesn't work you have to fix that feature while your program is still uh at the beginning phase meaning your program is still small so you write the small feature you compile it and then you see if it runs if it runs then you are good and then you add another feature and then you compile a program and then you extend it so let's just write the program so let me just demonstrate what i'm talking about all right so just okay int main function okay hashtag include input output stream using a namespace standard yeah, int main function and if main function the, the main function is served by the beginning of execution of uh main function uh the beginning the beginning of execution of program begins on main function and then uh let's just write uh the first feature so the first feature of our program says create a program that asks the user to enter the name the year of birth and the current year so that is the first way that that is the first feature so we have to write that first feature first and then compile your program and then run it if it has no errors and then you have to add another feature so let's just write our first feature so we, uh, so i'll just set my i'll just declare i do declare uh, String is declare the variables, declare the variables, the variables. I'm declaring the variables. So this is a single line. Oh my god, sorry. This is a single var this is a single variable comment. This is a single oh, sorry. This is a single line comment. Uh, so let me declare my variable string 
name save name then uh int yeah of path of path then int current yeah current yeah so i've created uh i've declared my variables so that uh they can store my import now let me ask let me prompt the user so that the user can enter these uh details that i want so see out let me indicate prompt uh the user so see out uh, and and uh, the name enter the name and see you name see now so now what i've just did now i've prompt the user to enter the name so this text on the string will be inserted on my console and then it will be, then my console will display to the user and then my console will accept name and then my the name will be stored on the variable name so i i have to run this first so that, so that i can see if i don't have any errors so that i can add another feature so this is the first feature so let's just type the calculation let's see i don't know security check uh security check and security check or age check I just say it's a check. A to check. Yeah, uh, .cpp. Enter that. Let's 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 enter that. Oh, it's still running. still running all right see my console pop-ups this is this is the console and the pop-ups and then it prompt the user i am the user uh the client uh then we say enter the name so i'll just enter my name oh my god what's going on then enter voila so I've compiled my program so and then run my program and then it works it does the first feature meaning it can uh, prompt the user to enter the the name and then store the name in the variable name so now let's add another feature so uh, in ga of birth uh, so let's just go to the it in yeah all oh, right let me prompt the user again prompt the user see out enter enter the year oh also enter the year you were born you were born enter here you were born uh, we are born in so and then just say end line so i want you to go on separate line then scene then uh, yeah of yeah of bed scene yeah of bed Senior of birth, yeah. 
and then let's compile and check for errors. Uh, by, 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 by the way, uh, when I compile the program, I'm not checking for errors. I'm simply uh, converting my program into a bytecode, <laughs> into a machine language. Most people uh, say that when you compile your program, you just want to check for errors. No, that is wrong. When you compile a program, you are just convert it in, you are converting it into a machine uh, into a machine uh, language so that so that a computer can can, can understand it and uh, the CPU can be able to execute it. So enter the name, enter the year you were born in. All right. So the second feature works. So let's add another feature. One way, one another thing that help that help us to go fast when uh, we write a program is to not uh, not to repeat uh what do i mean by that uh for instance uh, see out uh, see out you see this i've repeat I, I'm, I'm writing this for a third time i i wrote this here and i wrote this oh sorry and uh, I also wrote this here. So now I'm gonna repeat it again and write it here. So we don't do right. We don't do that as programs. We just use copy and paste. Thank you to that uh, guy who invented copy and copy and paste. So I'll just say copy this and then paste it here. And then edit it. You see, I'm just adding my new enter the car. Enter the I was gonna repeat this. Ah, see, enter current, yeah, and then here, just write current, yeah. This also helps us to go faster. And also to reduce errors. So let me just say into current year, current year. Yeah. Let me just compile. Say, okay, you were born in. Just say 1999. Enter the current year. It's 2022. Yeah. Voila. My feature all my features works all my features works so now let's add another feature which is uh, the, the, uh the program will compute the age based on the given data so i uh, given uh the current year and the year of birth the name so in order to calculate the age we'll use the current year as well as the year of birth so int age uh, is equal to current year minus year of birth year of birth year of birth <coughs> excuse me int age is equal to current year minus year of birth so that is just a difference so it will give us uh, the age so let's compile and see if it works or let's just up your output the age but let me also output uh, the name as well but all right let's just compile first and see if uh, this line this this feature that you just added works or not Voila, it works. So uh, imagine. Uh, all right, let me just say this. Enter the year you were born in, nineteen ninety nine. The current year it's twenty twenty two. Yeah. So imagine if uh, you just you wrote the the whole thing. 
with that you just roll this once and then you 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 miss this uh, you 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 misspell the sum of the keywords of C plus plus and also you forgot some statement terminators and then let me just demonstrate that then you forgot that and then you see how oh, you forgot that and you were like okay you also forgot that and and then you, you compile once and then okay let me just compile once now see if my program and then voila there are many errors like yo oh, now let me just go and sleep these are i don't know how to write the code it's, it's red all over i don't know how to write this code yeah it's messy no don't do that just write your code once don't Oh my god, what did I just do? Yeah, so I've messed it out around. Let's see if it works again. Yeah, it works. So, the only way to go right, the only way to go faster is to go right. Imagine the time you spend on finding or looking or for errors on on uh, 10 lines of code compared with three lines of code just tell me you can tell me in the comment that is a lot of time and then again you see you just we started with this we started with this and then we compiled it and check for errors and then we didn't have, if we had errors it was going it was going to be easy to look for errors just because these are, are just three lines compared uh, when we look for errors on on seven lines or ten or nine see uh, this just makes uh, a way of us uh, to, this just helps us to go faster because we don't spend a lot of time uh, on the on checking for errors or on fixing the errors because we we always add the feature and then we compile so that uh, we can see if it works if it if the feature has errors we fix it we just we don't write the code at once and then compile it and then you have a lot of errors and then you end up saying no i just give up and then go to sleep because errors can be very frustrating I know uh, I have experience in that. I remember my first year, I was like, oh my god, there are a lot of errors. Let me just go and make noodles and make some coke. And then and I was like, okay, if it's still there's uh, a lot of errors. Let me ah, just go and sleep. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So let's add another feature. So the only way to go fast is to go right. What did that mean? It means that. Just write a clean code, a code that is beautiful so that you cannot spend a lot of time on fixing errors and stuff. Just write a code one, just write a, a clean code so that you can not spend a lot of time on fixing errors because that can be time consuming and also it can be very frustrating and you can end up giving up. Uh, yeah. So let's just, add, let's just add another feature so that we can see that we can finish our program as fast as possible. All right, so let's uh, create a program and finish it. Okay, so let's just use the if statement. Uh, let's just add the feature of if statement so that uh, the program of ours can decide if. Uh, if uh, someone uh, can enter or cannot enter inside the club. So let me just say if age is greater than, if age is greater than uh, 18, 20, let's just say 20 or 21, it's just uh, my client said no, just put 20. If if uh, someone is greater than 20, that person can enter the club. If that person is less than 20, that person cannot enter the club. 
so from the this user see around welcome to well, let's just see so what lounge welcome to so what lounge you can go inside welcome let's just say the club name is so what lounge or whatever name agents say welcome to sort lounge you can go inside then and line and line then else else Let's see out oh sorry you don't the minimum mini um, requirements to enter the club the club let me just create a uh, no equal to greater than or equal to someone has to be 20 years or above in order to enter the club so else yeah yeah now let's see if uh, our program if uh, this feature works or not let's see if this feature works or not let's see if uh, this feature works or not let's compile it oh my god there is an error cannot open out cannot open our profile so permission dr permission denied so this is just a, a, a execution file so executable file so this error is not based on on your code that you've written it's based on the on, on the ide it's based on the file that doesn't want to open so let's just close our save or let's just close our program and open it again so let's save on science age calculator let's open it again let's close it and open close close that console let me open it again uh, check who is it let's prove uh, who is it who is it who is it who is it uh science program on uh, who is it oh, yeah there it is say compile and run oh still it has uh, the same error let's close the whole id and open it again let's close the whole id and open it again yeah let's open it again ID there is dev C plus plus. Let's open it again. So that is not uh that when you see an error like that, always just close your ID and open it again. Then you'll see that error will disappear. And the problem is not in your code, obviously. So we go there. The program that we are looking for a check. There you go. And then you compile your code. And then you 
wait, wait for it. it yes, you see. Then it runs again. Then in the current year, it's 2022. So welcome to So What Lounge. You can go inside. So this, uh, you, can, you can see uh, my age is 19, uh, my year, uh, the year which I was born is 1999. The current year, it's 2022. So 2022 minus 1999, it's equal to 23. So that means that is above. 20 so that means i'm allowed to go inside let's write this let's do this again enter the name what should i say let's say i am i was born in 2003 enter the current year it's 20 22 so we don't meet the minimum requirements the, the minimum requirements are to enter the club so that means that uh, this person is not uh, does not meet uh, the requirements to enter the club. So let's add another condition. Let's add another condition, which is criminal record. Criminal record. Let's add another condition for uh, it says criminal record. I'll just say bull. Bull and just say criminal, criminal, criminal record, record, criminal record. Then I say see out. Criminal, criminal, all right, good. If yes, enter true. If yes, enter true. No, enter false. Then let's add this feature and see if it works. Now we have two conditions. If age is greater than 20 and criminal record, which is uh, Criminal record. Oh, where did I take it? Oh, it's criminal. 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 Record. Is equal to. False. Yes. Oh, true. Oh, sorry. It's true. And then criminal record is equal to true then. Yeah, yeah, you are welcome to enter the club. But then, if the user uh, doesn't meet uh, these two requirements, then the user is not allowed to enter inside the club. So let me just do this. Let me do this. Do this. Do this. So yeah, criminal record is equal to true yeah let's compile our program and see if it works criminal code yeah then my names matter into the year you were born in it's 1999 then into the current year the current year is 2022 then criminal record oh my god i didn't accept criminal record if yes uh enter true 
uh, no enter false so they don't meet the minimum requirements to enter the club that means I did not accept I did not uh, I did not get the input from the user of the criminal record so let me do that so let me get the input of criminal record from the user say criminal record criminal record record criminal record and also let's pause it a little bit see out see out let's just say let's enter the let's i'll put the name of the user see out name then the name even here name yeah name yeah oh sorry you see it's very easy it's just the the line the error appears on that line only so it's easy because i know that i've just added this feature so if the error appears obviously it's gonna appear on the feature that i just added so it's gonna be easy for me to spot that error because i'll just go on the feature that i've just added see that is why it helps us to write a code that has less errors this way of writing a program so now let's write my name then say enter your board and then say say 1992 and then enter the current year it's 2022 and then criminal record and then say let me just say false say false so we must have done meet their minimum requirements to enter the club So let's see what's wrong. If age is greater than R, because I think it was supposed to help me enter, because oh, uh, uh, the age is greater than, or let me just also compute the age so that we can see uh, where we are wrong. Where we are wrong. Where we are wrong. So let's go there and say draw in your name and then let me also say age and then say age. Say Martin, and then say your age. Uh, age. Oh, welcome to uh, say Martin. Your ages. I uh, just say your. is is see out monthly your age is your age is then it prints out the age welcome to the so at launch so if it's true So if criminal occurs, it's true, so it's just it's true. Yes, true, then no false. Okay, if age is greater than 20 and criminal record is false, so the criminal record must be false. So that means I don't have criminal record. So for that, say no enter false. So that means I don't have any criminal record so i'm supposed to be greater than 20 and also to not have a criminal record in order for me to enter inside the club yeah 
let's write our program again c let's see right here 1999 then current age 22 criminal record false i don't have a criminal record monthly age is 23 welcome to so what welcome to so what launch you can go inside let me just fix that uh, output it's so messy monthly your ages monthly your ages now let me fix that. Yeah, let me fix that. But let me also add one another thing. Let me add this. I want to add this. Yeah, I want to add it here. Copy and paste yeah now i want uh, i want a user that has uh that that has the age that is greater than 20 and also has a criminal record let's see if the program will allow the user to enter the club or it will not allow that uh, user to enter the club so let me just see and then here we're going it's 19 eight and then enter the current age 2022 and then criminal record yeah let's say true i do have a criminal record I do have a criminal record my age is 24 welcome my age is 24 Welcome to the Sword Lounge. You can go inside. I think there is an error on our program because the, the, the user has to meet both the conditions in order to enter the building. It's not that it's not like there is an or it has to meet both this condition, this one and this one. So there must be an error. So let's look for it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let me do this. Let me do that copy and paste it there. Okay, ask if let's go. To say no, I miss the the R statement and stuff. Well, let's see about it. Yeah, enter the name. It's smart, yeah. And then enter. It's just ninety nine. And then enter the current year. It's twenty twenty two. Then I do have a criminal record, but I'm all around twenty. Let's see. If the club uh, program will, uh, will allow me to enter the club or not. So, if you have a criminal record, yes, I do have a criminal record. So, that's very true. Oh my god, it allowed me again. So, let's see. I'll see if age is greater than. So yeah, your age is sorry, you don't meet the minimum required. Oh shit, so what for that? It's supposed to be true here. It's supposed to be true. Sorry for that. It's supposed to be true. Yeah, maybe that is my error. So let's check it out again. It's not here. Enter your born 1999. Then enter the current year. It's 2022. 
then criminal record eps enter true no enter false then yes i do have a criminal record oh my god i do have a criminal record criminal record yeah i'll say for if uh so so what is wrong okay let me also output let me also output uh, the the criminal record for ages then criminal record criminal record criminal record it's criminal record it says like okay it's criminal record it's like okay criminal record okay we just criminal record yeah let's just write that there then say criminal record criminal record criminal record yeah also let me add a t yeah see we are adding so many features now i've just added another feature which is criminal record i'm printing uh to criminal record on the screen so criminal record criminal record was not declared on the screen so the feature i, I just added is criminal record and there is an error so once there is an error i know that obviously the error is on the feature just added which is uh, i'm printing the criminal record on, on the screen so i'll just go here i've misspelled my variable i've misspelled my variable i've misspelled my variable see how easy that error was to fix it didn't it didn't even take me much so let's run our program again oh my god that that again that again that again all right let me do it like this false true criminal record say one Uh, true uh, false that is correct that is correct false that is correct so i have to close this again and run it again save changes yes of god obviously then let's open it again let's open it again Let's open it again because it's not running. It has that error. So let me open it again. Open it again. Open it again. Open it again. So open the program again. Where is the program? So the program is here. It's here. Program. A check. Yeah. It's a check. Yeah.
then let's run let's compile and run it again so my god it has the same uh, again good and close that oh, also close that close that yeah finally figure it out why it was not working it's because the console was still showing that output on that console so you have to close this console after you've done after you've done with them you have to call you have to close them because they will cause that error that just popped up uh, last time so let's go and say it's smart eh? and then yeah it's 1999 and then it's 2022 and then it's a criminal record not just say true i do have a criminal record until 8 is 23 criminal record zero what it was welcome to so what learned zero 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 so welcome to so what learned so okay so zero will come to common so that means uh it it is zero true equals to zero that is just that doesn't make any sense true supposed to equals to four supposed to equal to so it's the other way around it's the other way around and let me do it like this let me just one and zero let me just say zero and here i'll say one then let's say yes enter one no enter zero let's combine that again and see what is selling down smartly all right zero it accept zero by default so let's let me start again let's just enter it first so i didn't see what happened there so let's just run it again Enter name. Enter name. It's 1990. All right. So current year it's 2022. Criminal record is a no. Let's say yes. Yeah. Finally, the program works. So Matthew age is 23. Criminal record one. So you don't meet the minimum requirements to enter the club. See, if uh, if eight is greater than twenty and criminal record is equal to one, that means you don't meet the requirements uh, to enter the club. So yeah, that was it, uh, folks. Enjoy your clean code, meaning writing a program that makes that uh, that helps you to write a code that has less errors and also it helps you to debug faster and also it helps you to write a, a program and also to submit it faster on your clients good luck thank you subscribe subscribe subscribe